Davao City, peaceful, with most steps running on the post. Davao City, Davao Delta, Philippine is set for the big two political rallies with three three plus the downtown city streets with people in the last two days of the campaign. It's all too peaceful and quiet in hometown of President Rodrigo Duter, two three children are sure to win the city's top post. Unlike in neighboring provinces and towns where sound systems are glaring and supporters of political candidates in time and be cut in brawl, the election campaign would have hardly felt here, where most of the candidates were running unopposed. Even at the final mid and rally at Armandre's gym, which the president guested on Friday, political candidates came no longer to campaign but to express thanks to supporters, regaling them with song and dance numbers. In this city, where the president has been mayor for 22 years before being elected president, daughter Sarah Duder Pig, running for her second term as city mayor against security guard Magdaleno Marcelone Jr., a perennial candidate who never won as mayor when the president was still the city's chief executive. The president's daughter instead spent most days in the campaign period during the country to barnstorm for the senatorial best of the Hus Commons at Batago, soon a regional party she founded. The president's eldest son, Teo Lodig, also running against two relatively unknown candidates, Rex Lavis and Susan Y. A. Nuren, for the congressional seat in the city's first district. Although the president won here as House Representative in 1998, the area has been known as Teo with of his former rival, the former House Speaker Prospero Nobrail, who recently passed away and whose son Carlo currently serves in the president's cabinet. The president's youngest, son Sebastian, popularly known as Bat, enters politics for the first time to run for vice mayor in the city. He is unopposed. While political bets in other cities and provinces are fighting teeth and claw against their opponents, virtually most candidates for the key public posts here ran unopposed including Vincent Garcia, who is running for a congressional seat in the city's second district and former Liberal Party turned hunt, Betty Sidro Lundig in the third district. But the president recently told him supporters it would not yet be this year's elections which would prove critical for them but the win in 2022, when he steps down from the presidency. During the Hume rally, he urged supporters to prepare when he steps down from the presidency, as he asked them to support daughter Sarah, who is running for mayor, Kayola as first district representative, and fast as vice mayor despite their assured win in the May 13th election. Right now, you can still take it easy, but the critical date would be after I leave the presidency. That will be the time when you will be a bit on your toes, he said at the Hoon rally. Although the regional party Hoon was founded by Sarah Duterd in February last year, they both homegrown political group, Huskong Satawang Lunsok, whose members form part of the Hoon, has been the president's political machinery for years when he ran for mayor in Davao City. Sarah, who figured in the outer of the president's ally, then House Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez, had earlier ignored supporters push for her to run for the Senate in the midterm elections. But her high visibility during the national campaign for the 12 twin senators made some people think she could be eyeing her father's post. For more election stories, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.